Qasem Soleimani, an Iranian general, was killed in a U.S. airstrike near the Baghdad International Airport on January 3rd. But who was Soleimani, and why was he targeted by the U.S.? The 62-year-old Major General was the head of the Quds Force of Iran's Revolutionary Guard, a unit responsible for foreign military operations. Soleimani was considered the architect behind several proxy wars across the Middle East. The U.S. designated the Revolutionary Guard a foreign terrorist organization in 2019 as part of a campaign to pressure Iran to negotiate on its ballistic missile program and nuclear policy. In response, Soleimani had said any negotiation with the U.S. would be a complete surrender. The Pentagon says the airstrike that killed Soleimani will deter future attacks orchestrated by Iran. There were many times in the past when Soleimani was rumored to be dead. Those incidents include a 2006 plane crash that killed several military officials in northwestern Iran, a 2012 bombing in Damascus, Syria that killed top aides of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, and during fighting near Aleppo in Syria in 2015. But this time, it's not a rumor. Soleimani's death has been confirmed by Iran. After Iran's Islamic Revolution, Soleimani joined the Revolutionary Guard. And not long after the revolution, he played a part in putting down Kurdish unrest in the northwest of Iran. He inspired many Iranian citizens to join the Quds force and would get emotional around troops, even embracing them before sending them to fight. Soleimani was viewed as a celebrity at home, but a threat in the United States Israel, and Saudi Arabia. 